we are live. Yeah, we are. Are we live? There we go. All right. It is um, June 3rd, 2024, <laughs> um, approximately 9.01 a.m. Let's call this meeting to order. All right. Any public comments? Anything online? No. Okay. Um, did everybody have an opportunity to review the minutes? Yes. Do we have a motion? I make a motion to approve the minutes from the May 6th, 2024 we'll meeting as written. Do we have a second? I'll second, second that. Uh -huh. Yep. Me too. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Right. You love doing that. No, not really. Okay. Um, Johnson Economics Market Study. Did everybody have an opportunity to review it? Yeah, there should be kind of a, a plan. Oh, cool. And then the draft survey. So, um, Evelyn, my question on this is, was that survey, was that... Did that include this stuff? No. Okay, that That's was something. separate. Yep. Okay, all right. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Um. I I thought it looked pretty good. Um. Obviously, the gentleman that we spoke to last month isn't here. I thought he was going to be here. Yeah, I don't know. I thought he was too, but yeah, he's okay. not. Um. I don't know if y'all had an opportunity to review this, but I looked at question number four. And it said, how many years have you lived in Estacada? It said less than two, two to 10, ten, more than 10. And then it said, prefer not to respond. And I'm like, why? Why do we even need that in there? How many years have you lived here? Yeah. In general? Prefer not to respond. Mm -hmm. No, the, the answer of prefer not to respond. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. why does that? I, I mean, I can see the age and I can see the income. Like, to me, that makes sense. You know, a lot of people are guarded on stuff like that. But number four, with the option of prefer not to respond, I'd like to see that removed. Because okay. to me, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know if does there... anybody have <laughs> is a specific reason? I'll double check yeah. with Elena to maybe see okay. if there is, but we could probably just remove it. Okay. And then um, on number seven, I'm assuming that once they actually finalize this um, questionnaire that number seven, it kind of rolled over to page two. I would like to see a space put in that. So seven, so that everything is together, but then I'd also like to have them add the option of telework. Okay. Because even though I live in Estacada and I work in Estacada out of my home, mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not an employee of a business or anything that is local. Okay. So I think we need to, and there's a lot of people that telework now. So I think that we need to add that. Again, I don't understand, prefer not to respond. I don't understand that, that option as an answer. Maybe swap that out with telework. Okay. Um, hmm. And this survey is going to be on the website. I don't know if we'll do paper copies. Okay. So everything should okay, be perfect. listed out as one perfect. question connected perfect. to each other. But other than that, I thought... Um... On number seven, do you agree that then where people work prefer not to respond should be there? I don't. I don't understand. I mean, what's the purpose of that? I guess I just don't understand what the purpose behind that that option to answer that question as an option. Because yeah. aren't we trying, I mean, we're trying to gather information. I totally get the age thing and I totally get the money thing because that's more guarded. Mm -hmm. That's more personal. Um, That's specific to an individual or a household. And it's not really anybody's business how much money I make. I mean, I don't care what money you make. I don't care what Heather makes. I don't care what <laughs> Hannah makes. I don't care what Connie makes. I mean, that's not important to me. Mm -hmm. Is but, there an option to do the survey undisclosed? I don't think it's asking for your name yeah. or anything like that. But but is the email address or something like that going to be associated with it? I don't think it's going to ask for your email either. Perfect. Yeah. 
So if it's undisclosed, then I don't I don't see why they would then take the survey and not answer the question answer answer some of the questions yeah. i think I guess. it's like an easy one if you're confused like well i work at home does that mean that's the cater or I right yeah because i was like i literally was taking this i was doing the questionnaire sure like mike and i sat right. down like and we're doing the questionnaire and i'm like right. well it doesn't have an option for me i mm -hmm. i work from home but i am not i don't work for any employer yeah. anybody here locally mm -hmm. so um I'm going to jump to number 15. I'd like to see where do you typically go for entertainment? I'd like to see another added option to put other because outdoor river parks, mountains, et cetera, you're still local. Downtown Estacada, definitely local. Happy Valley, Clackamas, Portland Metro. Um, you know, I do a lot of my traveling outside of Estacada. I mean, I go down to Eugene from August through, you know, November, like every other weekend. Mm -hmm. I don't have that as an option on here. So I'd like to see other and then the option for people to, re if they want to fill it in, they can fill it in. Okay. I mean, I'm still staying within Oregon, but, you know, a lot of my life between August and November is Eugene. Mm -hmm. So just I'm wondering if you could put a, like, fill in your own. Yeah, well, that's why I put, I put, wanted to have other, and then other and you can add. put other and explain. If you want to explain, you don't need to explain, just other. Those are only, those are kind of some of the changes that I would have liked to have seen uh, on the questionnaire. I don't know if anybody else has anything else. Maybe other with a description box. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah the, other like the end of question 11. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or 14. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. You know, because if we find out we have a huge like um, college football base fan base, whether it be the Beavers or Portland State or um, UP or Eugene, whatever, mm -hmm. I mean, that would be interesting to know. Yeah. Because do we, I mean, do we want to offer something? Is there some, is there another type of business that we want to bring in? Yeah. Is there businesses locally that want to tap into that? So like when there's an away game, it's like, Hey, you know, we're showing beavers and the ducks on, but about you know, so mm -hmm. I would like to, I would like to know that. Mm -hmm. If you find out that there is disclosure on people, would you consider then maybe having some of the do not prefer to answer or whatever, whatever oh, yeah. boxes say? So maybe keep that in mind yeah. when we. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just give more information. Because then maybe valuable opinions wouldn't take the survey because they're like, well, I don't, want, I don't want to share those things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. I mean, the purpose of the survey is to be able to grow and grow where we need or people want the growth how, how people want it to yeah. but yeah if people are going to get right. more market study stuff or you know mm -hmm. yeah, you, we mm -hmm. don't want we don't want that to happen hopefully it is it is private we need an event center in Estacada. well you would be able to add that I there. think under number what sixteen. You what I, other services. I think yeah. it is under one of the questions. Guys, a retail or restaurant services business. Is that where we go? Number thirteen. Yeah, corporate retreat center. And under thirteen. Not, well, event center. Yep. Not for corporate, but just an event center. So is yeah. this finalized? Um, uh, maybe it's under correct. fourteen, you could add yeah. that, like with more description. Yeah. Yeah, there's several places that you can. Okay. Add stuff. Right. And this is just the draft. Right. Yeah. It's not final. <laughs> Jimmy, Hannah, Mike, and I want sushi. <laughs> yeah. We talked about this. <laughs> we want a sushi place. <laughs> My family would agree. <laughs> see? See? I told you. I told you. <sighs> Any other um, concerns or comments on the market study? 
All right. When is this finalized? Do we know? I don't know. I, I would assume after this meeting, any changes you all had, mm -hmm. we would put it into the survey and then start getting it ready to share. Awesome. Okay. Cool. So you'll just keep us abreast on that, right? Yes. Awesome. And see if the changes or the additions, changes or corrections or whatever that mm -hmm. we talked about are able to be. Met. I can do it under my phone. Okay, yeah. Um, okay. <clears throat> All right, moving on. So um vacant buildings, I saw that that was crossed out. Are we not? Tara was not able to attend the meeting okay. and she wasn't able to get me the info she had before this meeting so hopefully i'll have okay. something for you all to look at next month okay i heard that the school was going to rent the old art smith yes um, they from when to when and yeah what, they classes? had to apply for i think it was a conditional use application um since their use is different than what was in there before and that's going to planning commission I think in July. So they have to work through some approvals and, you but yeah, they are planning to move just into be that building. The school year? Is that their thought? Or I don't know. It might be a little bit longer than, yeah. Okay. yeah. <clears throat> All right, moving on to the 4th of July planning. So I think that you and I need to work on the new float application. I think that's what we had discussed last month. I guess we need to make some changes to the application or is that finalized? I thought it had been finalized. Okay. Because we've had people turning in okay. what was going to be the change. Maybe the October fest. Oh, maybe it was October the October fest. fest. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sick. Yeah, so. then, vendor oh. application. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good. Okay. So we're good on the fourth of July. Yeah. We've got the two. Grand Marshals. We got the two Grand Grand Marshals, Sarah Lakes, uh, working on the the signs, the banners for them. I haven't. I say we have the two. Uh, Brooke hasn't gotten back to me. Um, it was over almost a month, and she wanted to check with her family. I don't see that that would be a concern. I just need to bug her because I want to know what they want put on the banner. Gotcha. Uh, you know her full name. Do they want her mm -hmm. you know, her lifespan? Do they want to? You know, one right. sentence phrase we'll about, you know, yeah. her okay. commitment to the community. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, and I need to get with Heather and see where we stand on getting high school volunteers on the on the route. Um, the city bought 60 cones, so we don't have to pay for that. Uh, we're cutting back on one toilet, so that will help. Um, other than that, everything, you know, the only thing we can't control is the weather. So. Right. Um, I've talked to uh, two of the big, big rig companies and said, we just need to limit how many you guys put in. One company put in seven last year and they were very, very nice. And I said, we need to limit it to two to three. And they said, no problem. Uh, the other company was just as accommodating. Um, our uh, motorized folks say we can take easily another 20 in there. Um, we had a request from a can be writing group to have 20 writers. And I just had to call and say, we can't handle 20 more in the equestrian area. And they were okay. You know, they'd like to go to different cities, but can be, you know, we try and keep things local. We have lots of people that come back every year and we just don't have, the, not so much the animals, but the trailers and stuff that come with the animals. Mm -hmm. We just don't have room. Mm. So other than that, everything's going really well. Awesome. Getting the signs up about what streets are going to be closed. And... Yeah, I was just going to ask, do we did do we have the map mm -hmm. and we're going to send that out? When are we going to send that well, out? Like in the next couple of weeks? Do so we have people the map know? or the, do you mean electronically? So we, have, um, we, yeah. had, we had discussed possibly doing a route a map. map or yeah, mm -hmm. a route map to not only show the parade and the mm -hmm. the streets that yeah. were closed because you had indicated that over the course of the last several years people didn't know how to get around yeah yeah so we were going yeah. to do not only the parade route map but then yeah. this is how you get around um hannah made up um a sheet that showed intersection closures and then alternate routes i don't know if, is that something we can put online 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna do it to social media and then add it okay. to the okay. uh, monthly newsletter in a couple weeks. Okay. And Perfect. Yeah. That would yeah, because so whether people look at it or not, that's them. But, but it's out there, and yeah, we can say, too. we can say, hey, it's online. Yeah. So yeah. as far as a time frame, can we get that out? Can we get that out before the 17th um, of June? Just so that it is. Yes. They it's should. An, okay. The newsletter usually goes out before, I mean, around then, usually like 13th, 14th. Well, and yeah. Would you be able to post that along with the application online? Maybe, you know, with the applications online, could you add that as an attachment? Yeah, I could. The there's a, a event spot right. just for 4th of July so I could input it in there so yeah. people see it on the calendar and they click on it then they'll see the map perfect okay, okay. that so would be that would be fantastic yeah yeah maybe even printing a couple to post at the post office places mm -hmm. that people oh, yeah. go for the post office yeah and at the grocery library. store yep something like that yeah. I just I I want to I want to make sure that we're doing our due diligence to advise people or give them the opportunity to go find that information mm -hmm. and it be there. I don't want it. I, I don't want it posted two days before the event. I'd like to see it posted earlier rather than later. Let's be, let's be proactive rather yeah. than reactive. Yep. Um, well, so if Hannah can get that to mm -hmm. Evelyn. Yep. Awesome. Um, and when people ask about parking on their own. <laughs> Okay. Where if you want to be yeah. a spectator, there's so many families that I mean, do this you'll year, figure it out year, when you come. year. I mean, you'll they see know where to go. Locked up. Walk, I know. We walk down. Yeah. 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 Some people are like, where yeah. do I park? Mm -hmm. no. They'll see what streets close down and what's not. Yep. So okay. and we're yeah. gonna we're going to um the parade starts at 10, and in the past we've waited till 9 30 to close down intersections. Uh, this year we're going to do it at nine, so it'll be done by nine fifteen. Yeah, it just I think helps I have the that staging on the, the map that. that says road closures from nine a.m. to twelve. These are everything that's going to be closed, and here's alternative routes. Perfect yep. to get to Cascadia and whatever. Yeah. So the big question is, Heather. You know, you and I need to talk. Hopefully, you've got some kids or teams or whatever lined up because that's my big, my big. Problem. Have you had had a lot of um, show of interest for? Volunteering? Want, want, kids wanting to volunteer? Uh, I have about five kids and then a couple of adults as well. Oh, wow. Maybe about 15, right? So I talked to Alison Bresco last week. Yeah. And I'm going to get a sign-up sheet up to the Spire office this week. Um, and I think we'll be yeah. able to have it handled. And actually, if we can attach a map to that, it might not be bad. We'll mark out the... Yeah. If we have one kid per intersection, that's good. They can put out the cones and... For one person. The other curiosity, up uh, hour and a half, two and a half hours. What are we thinking as for as time think. for them? Yeah, oh, to help. Yeah, nine o'clock until we're done. Probably about eleven, eleven thirty. But uh, my understanding is that they can take up the cone as the parade goes by them. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Wait till the parade's all the way done. Well, I mean, okay, when the when the last float last entry goes down Main Street, yes, yes, as the parade goes by, they can open up the intersection. Down here, Main Street, or you mean up oh, because it's going this. up the whole route. So when they go by, yeah, because we'll have Broadway closed off. We don't have Broadway. Yeah, we have Broadway closed off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. You know, I've always been the one okay. to go back afterwards and pick up uh, stuff. I would I would say once the route, once the the last, um, the Ooh, last super. float goes up broadway you can start opening both sides of the intersection yeah. it wouldn't open up one side before yeah the right yeah side's open. yeah don't open up main until yeah you're all done on broadway yeah all done on broadway or till the last float passes so like if the when the it when the up. route when the route turns out it's because it's going to turn right here right on when it turns when it turns out here um once the last float goes past they can open they can open up that intersection and then yeah. the last float past they can open up both sides on that intersection and so on and so mm -hmm. forth all the way up okay yeah so starting at the top coming down but on when they go up then you can start opening up as they head up okay 
awesome. Anything else um, on 4th of July? I'm excited. Just mm -hmm. pray for good weather. Isn't it exciting that um, the we know now that the road is going to be open? <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. It's amazing. You know, yeah. Yeah, that was, awesome. yeah, that was a big concern. Yeah. And next year, depending on what happens with the school, we might have a staging issue, but we'll deal with that. Good problem to have. Yeah. All right. Well, good job, guys. Um, content for June newspaper, social media posts, and e-newsletter. So we'll be doing 4th of July stuff, um, posting the maps. And probably the um, the flyer she has. And then um, I got the info from you, Sherry, about the water tests, the free water tests. So I'll throw that in there somewhere. Awesome. Um, and then once the survey goes live, we can post about that too. Post or pointing people. Um, I want to post about the amphitheater too just to get a cool picture of that and just alert people that you can go to it. And, and is it rentable? Do you know? Free, is, it, is it? Yeah. They take in a, or a little cleaning deposit. Cleaning if you it, but they return it, if you, if you clean it, it up. So, cool. Awesome. For I don't know. Yeah. Nine, <laughs> nine seven Oh two, two and nine seven Oh two, three zip codes. Oh, yeah. is free. If you keep it clean. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. So I think to the June or July, just to post about that. Um, and then, oh, and then the um, kids being able to join our commissions. Mm -hmm. Do you know when you're going to start yeah, that process? Yeah, that's one of the questions I had on here is, do we know when we're going to get our little youth liaison? <laughs> the applications are already open. Oh, so cool. it, it, I think it just depends on when they apply and I don't know if there's a set date okay. for when it ends. I think they're sure. just open and tell people apply. Okay. Kids Do we apply. have applicants already? Not that I've seen. It's hard with and it's, uh, schools. And it's set up, um, I think it's seventh grade through 12th, 12th, seventh mm -hmm. grade through 12th. We can have, we can accept applicants from, um, yeah, seventh through 12th grade and and already talking with the schools about it, they've already relayed this information to the students. I don't or? know if they if it has been. I could ask. I think it might have been Sadie or Elena that posted that information. So I'll check with them to see if it was relayed to the schools. No, it was uh, the DEI committee that was, um, you know, that did this. Uh, I don't know what they if they've contacted anybody. Because, I mean, kids are going to be graduating soon. And it's my understanding, based off of our conversation last month, that they would serve on it, like, for a year, right? Yes. So, I mean, Starting it would fall. be nice to be able to get somebody appointed mm -hmm. by the end of the month. Yeah, because our More. fiscal year is July through June, so... But then we lose the opportunity to contact the students after everybody's gone in a couple of weeks. Mm. When I asked um, Alison, she was going to put the application or the um, volunteer information into a newsletter or email that they send out to all of student bodies. So something like that maybe could work mm -hmm. as well. And this this would go towards their um, their required volunteer right. hours. So, yeah, Are, that, that'll be interesting. Do to they know. have volunteer hours through through the summer, or is you it only it during? Time. And you I can mean, do know a lot of the like athletes will volunteer yeah. at the camps for littles and stuff yeah. to okay. fulfill some of their volunteer hours. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Alrighty. Yeah. And so there's maybe... actually still a lot of contact through the summer even because oh, yeah. most of the students, uh, not most, I'm sorry, a lot of students are still participating in extracurricular stuff. Mm -hmm. There's so... church youth groups. There's yep people working out in the training room. There's sports. Mm -hmm. There's yep. lots of opportunities. Yep. Okay. 
good to know. FFA yeah. kids are still all doing their stuff. I mean, awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, as yeah, long as we can, as we long can as get... we can get the information out there so that we can get somebody, because yeah, I'd like to get somebody in here. Like that, it's mm -hmm. a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just wondering how. I don't know. I doubt we'll get somebody by the end of this month, though. I'm thinking it'll probably be like a fall thing, but that would be unfortunate. Yeah. I'm just I'm just really excited that it's finally happening. It's been in the works. I mean, the the idea was thrown out there by uh, former counselor Dunsmuir about probably about five, four years ago, oh, wow. and uh, I'm just really excited that it's coming to fruition. You know, yeah. Maybe um, maybe get a hold of DEI and see if they have the application or something, and then you can put that put in. in the and is it is it on the website? The website, website. Okay. so I can send you the link, cool. or just include it in whatever. That'll post. be part of the newsletter, and yep. you can, you're all you're good at that stuff. Um, yeah, so it'll for sure right. link in the newsletter. Anything? So I think, yeah, and I'm gonna. Uh, make sure to make sure people know probably just one post no day of applications before the fourth of july just so right. people know um, i think we can get up on the library board too yeah mm -hmm. the bulletin board mm -hmm. or okay. even in their well their newsletters already gone Evelyn, out. i know if, i know i saw it on the on social media the application for the uh, youth council can yep. you um either bump it or repost it so that yes yeah okay yeah and then there was one more thing, um, the beaver fling disc golf that yes. Elena told us, or she messaged me about it. Um, I might just post about that. I think it's this weekend. I know. Hello. <laughs> she lives. Yeah. Um, um, Time Travelers actually has been in contact with okay. them. So um, we are offering like a, say you're a participant and you get like a dollar beer or something oh, so that's fun yeah nice. so yeah put, posting about that because it's like the pro tour yeah yeah this is like a really really big I deal know. I, I know. think it's this weekend I think so yeah so I gotta get on the post yeah um, but yeah but I know who knew yeah. right so fun it's gonna be a beautiful wow. weekend for that and Milo McIver is like a really big hub for that oh, so it's huge if we can if the town can tap into any of that mm -hmm. that would be amazing yeah hopefully everybody Right. Other businesses should be doing what you guys yeah. do. Yeah. And the weather's supposed to be better this weekend. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yes. That would be awesome. Week, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. As soon as we get through this couple days. Yes. <laughs> so does anybody know anything about this barbecue bake or cook off down at Timber Park towards the end of the month? No, I saw that. I saw the no. advertisements for it, but I think it's a private person that's putting it on. I'm, I'm going to call. Um, I know the lady down there and see who's signed the permit and yeah, reach out to them. I have no but, idea. Yeah. Okay. What is it? Barbecue or something? It's a, a cook-off, a barbecue cook-off. A barbecue cook-off. Yeah. In Timber oh. Park, I think June something. End of June. Competition? Yeah. Kind of like a chili cook-off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I should tell my husband. Uh -huh. so I'm, He's very good. Yeah. Barbecuer. Okay. So that's that's personal, maybe, or not personal and mm -hmm. private. It's probably a private thing. Well, but they're maybe. they've got a poster on social media on mm. somebody put it on Facebook. June twenty ninth barbecue cook off competition yeah. Saturday eleven a.m. S uh, Timber Park Estacada. Mm. Um, first annual barbecue throwdown, Ma and Pa backyard edition. Who's got the best barbecue? Carnival win prizes. Oh, really? Five hundred dollar grand prize, June really? 29th. Cool. How come we don't know about June it? 20? Oh, there's I a really softball tournament that we can do. Yeah, it, kids lemonade showdown. Yeah, okay. I think it's a private party that's putting it on. But then, oh, well, yeah, could be a private party. Oh, but... tickets for this event. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's ticket. You gotta. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'll... I would imagine there'd be a buy-in if they are going to give a $500 sure. prize. Oh, Lord. It's like it's okay, like never mind. Got to create an account. Oh, gee. Um, oh, that's cool. Hmm. Do you have what it takes to 
for your barbecue skills from home to the grill. Let's find out this summer. Come join our first annual barbecue throwdown, Mon Pa edition. With food and carnival games happening, what more could you ask for? The fun doesn't stop there. The lemonade throwdown will happen for the kids too who love to compete. So it looks like there's gonna they're gonna do a lemonade stand, lemonade competition too. I'll, I'll call. Is it Trudy at PGE? I'll find out who submitted the permit and mm -hmm. take it from there. Yeah. Okay. Because we could potentially post that poster if it's within the rules, which is not a certain business. Yeah, but don't hold up your no for this. No. <laughs> all right. Anything, yep. nope. anything else? No. Nope. Biz yeah. Big month of stuff, but yeah. all good. All right. So Estacada, 120th anniversary ideas for 2025. Jerry, do you wanna mm -hmm. you, you had indicated? Um well, so I don't I didn't bring my laptop and um in the email I I I don't know if it, if it got forwarded to, to all of you. I know it got forwarded to council, but it was from Bev on the Arts Commission. Um, I can forward it to you guys. Um, she's got a lot of good ideas in there. Um, so when they were talking about it at the last last Arts Commission meeting, I it just resonated with me so much, you know, uh, to where even to the point where I started looking into, you know, my family out here, um, I didn't know that, um, yeah. so not as direct relation, but the lingle box, um, my, they're in my family tree. So really, really, yeah. So I, I just thought that, you know, my family only went back so far in Estacada, but when, you know, reading, reading some of the stuff that Bev sent me in that email, finding out that, you know, I, I have family that's been here since the beginning you know, since this town was, was created. That's so cool. um, it's exciting, but it resonated just her talking about it. And then uh, it resonated with me so much that um, I just got really, really excited about it. You know, 120 years, that's, mm -hmm. that's a big thing. Um, and there was talk of waiting till 125. Well, I don't want to wait till 125. <laughs> I want to celebrate. I want to celebrate 120. I want to celebrate 125. Mm -hmm. I want to celebrate 130. You know, I want to. Mm -hmm. Every five. I, I'd, I'd like to see it be a, a a regular thing at the minimum every five years. You know, I don't want to do it every year because then it just gets, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, but, uh, you know, just, just I'd like to see every um, committee that does an event. Um somehow integrate or put that 120 in 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 an event you know so if it's uncorked or if it's Oktoberfest or the best the best one would be the fourth of july parade you know um you know just uh do something that um you know represents the, the 120th year you know well maybe what we could do is um for 2025 since that's going to be the 120th anniversary maybe any event that we were sponsoring or we're handling that we're we're organizing maybe we just have that also as a little caveat I would on every that. single one of them i would love that to be in every event so I, I i wasn't going to ask that you know, I didn't, you know, I wasn't going to ask that of, uh, of everybody, but um, like I said, I mean, I, I asked for, I asked for one, at least, you know, do if, if every, every committee that did an event would do one. Um, I mean, 4th of July makes sense, but, yeah. but we might as well just encompass the whole entire 2025 year, I, whether that be, you know, the arts commission does something in January and another commission does something in February, but any, anything that, I mean that should have some type of play. Absolutely, at least love it. from my opinion, I don't know what you what you guys think. I just think that it that it should be celebrated and celebrating it all year long. That's that's great. That's amazing to me. So well, we should be able to go back somewhere in history and find out January of 120 years ago what was going on here. You know, maybe get a photo of what um, downtown looked like. I have the um, in the email, which I, I as soon as I get home, I will uh, forward it to you guys. Um, Bev put in there. Uh, the first um, is or the first article in the Estacated News, um, but um, it was Linglebox Strawberry Farm. Um, oh, I hope she's getting in touch with Phil. He put together that historic brochure, and he's just got 
yeah i i did i did give her that okay so and uh lauren lauren with all of his pictures and then um yeah so i i gave her i gave her a few names so good has anybody thought of actually doing some type of moniker or logo or so that we something. can so that everything that we tag whether it be the city or the businesses so we can this, give them the opportunity to use that logo for this is that the year. first right. this is the first conversation that has been had about this since i brought it up at the council meeting okay so um, there has been no uh, as far as i know there's been i don't know if any of the other committees have talked about it but this is the first conversation that i know of that's been had since i brought it up at the council meeting so um i mean i don't i, I don't know who who would take that on? Um, Can we maybe think... form a committee of the 120th anniversary has a representative from each of the commissions and the, mm -hmm. you know, I know the Philip Foster farm is out there, but they were, you know, important too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. we can all be working together on it and yeah. get good ideas like that. Cause you don't want to start it in 2025. Right. Yeah. We, we want to do it get, now. We want to get, we want yeah. to get rolling on it. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. But I think of, a logo. a logo. I mean, we can make tree ornaments and, you know, stickers and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's a great idea. Because then, and then we can just, every five years, we can just change the 120 to 125, yeah. Yeah. 130, 135. We've got really creative people here in town that could come up with stuff. So what we would need is for somebody to take that on. And you guys are pretty busy. So um, we would need, and I think that um, I have a meeting Wednesday with the Arts Commission. Um, and, uh, I think that they would probably be, uh, better, better suited to take on that forming a subcommittee. Um, what time is that meeting? 630 on Wednesday right here. Okay. It's this Wednesday. So, um, I just don't want to put any more on you guys because the amount of the amount that you guys do. I know they do a lot too, but it's something that was brought up at their meeting. And I think that they would be better. I don't want to say equipped either, but they, I just think that they would have more bandwidth to. Well, I, I have no problem um, confirming that I'll be at that meeting on okay. Wednesday at 630 here. Um, and then I will be happy to, if, if everybody's okay with the logo idea, I think that oh, yeah. would be, yeah. I think, you know, and I mean, I, I don't mind being a point of contact. Make it okay. a contest. Is, is Alex here today? Yeah, that, I like that idea too. Okay. That's a really can good idea. You, um, can you ask her to put uh, basically the same SDK 120th anniversary um, on the agenda for, add that to the agenda for Wednesday, if it's not already there? And you said you're going to go. I'll go. If anybody wants to join me, I'd be happy to see you. I have to be free. I Wednesday. just think it'd be nice if we could get a committee. Yes, that's a good idea. That represent yeah, that, everybody, that's, every that's group. A great idea. Down, yeah. But not make it a committee that you have to go by meeting guidelines and how right. many people. Yeah, so there just can't be a, it'd be a subcommittee. It yeah. just can't be a, a quorum of any, um, it's like you couldn't have four, four of you guys there. Yeah. Well, and if we just designate one point of contact, then we, yeah. we don't have to worry about that. Right. I mean, everybody can come, but we've just, you know, that all of that information can go through that one point of contact, whoever that is. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's okay. exciting. Yeah. I, like I said, I mean, I started vibrating when, when she started talking yeah. about it, you know, well, just because, you know. If any opportunity to bring back the railroad and timber festival and stuff like that, that'd be the year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Awesome. I love history. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Yeah. Yeah, and awesome. then just just me just yeah. get, getting excited about it and doing Adventure a little about. bit more digging and you know because just after reading that article, I had no idea, and yeah. then come to find out that you know I have family that's been here since yeah. since the yeah. day one. It's a it's super exciting. Well, it's that might be the year where we have a theme for the Fourth of July parade. Yeah, I was gonna say, can can the city be the grand marshal that year? Is that I, I was rules? thinking we'd try and find maybe the oldest living resident, or you yeah. know, if somebody who's got the really fun the history. You know, mm -hmm. we had the Philip Foster farm one year, but mm -hmm. to find people that are been here, you know, mm -hmm. go back like you. Yeah. 
That's cool. Awesome. Yeah, Phil would probably be a good, you know, a good one. Because his family's, you know, oh yeah, that name has been yeah. here forever. Oh, yeah, Randall. Yeah, <laughs> true. All right. Anything else on the 120 anniversary ideas? It's a good stuff. Okay. Sorry, I skipped content for June or um, Oregon Main Street quarterly report. I'm assuming that's where that other stuff comes yes, in. Yes, that's what that okay. other stuff is. Uh, the report from April to June is due next week. So if any of you have any information you want to include um, based on the spreadsheet I included, um, just send it to me by okay. next week. Um, specifically your volunteer hours, because I don't know how much time you all spend working for the commission. Did you um, guys open this? Did you guys open this? So that's all year? of us to report? Or is it just her? That's, uh, well, you could okay. send it to Sherry and then Sherry can send it to me. But yeah, it, since you are all part of the DEC, which is Oregon Main Street, oh, okay. it would be all of your volunteer oh, hours. Okay. For okay. And DEC. when is it due to you? Uh, mid next week. Okay. So can I ask everybody to send me their volunteer and their volunteer hours for the last, for the last three months? Three months. Okay. April, May, yeah. June. April yeah. to June. So today's yeah. the third. Could everybody send me their volunteer hours by Friday via email? By this Friday? Yeah. Um, June 7th. And then if there's, I don't know that we really have had much public improvements besides Main Street. Um, yeah. I don't think we've had any new businesses um, or housing. Well, the... So is the, the food truck um that replaced uh kellen's dogs freckled peach yeah was it was that normal that was months? that was a while ago okay so it wouldn't be for april, april. to june okay i wasn't this sure year. if that was a yeah i think we reported that one a, a while ago okay so really the um, dog power it just looks like it yeah but if you have any commentary for uh, the general reporting, just let me know, like promotions, economic vitality, outreach activities that were performed, um, especially if it's for 4th of July, because I think that's mm -hmm. the one door event hangers. that, yep, the door hangers. And does that mean she has the quarterly to, to um, council or is that, that's separate? That's this separate. This is Main for Street. Oregon Main Street. Yeah. yeah. I think you just did that. Yeah. The July maybe. Awesome. Okie dokie. Um, uncorked 2025. Um, is this on here to discuss possibly a date or? Yes. I think at the okay. last meeting mm -hmm. you all mentioned it'd be good to just talk Long about time. it ahead of, mm -hmm. since you couldn't do it this year. So I just put yeah. it on there for you to brainstorm. Mm -hmm. I know we are hoping to do it in May. Mm -hmm. And I That's think right. that we've discussed cuz your like anniversary eight, is in May, right? Uh our anniversary is in May. Yeah, um okay. But I think we are hoping to do it when we get to the actual month of May. Uh the weekend of the 10th and 11th mm. or 3rd and 4th. So May the eleventh is May, so the eleventh is Mother's Day. Is that maybe we were going? Maybe we said the third because of that. We don't want to go into the seventeenth because that's May break for the school district, mm -hmm. and then Memorial Day, mm -hmm. and then we hit the the thirty first weekend, which is super right. I mean, that wouldn't be a horrible option. The last month. The the last. I'm just weekend. thinking from a perspective of a from a from a business opportunity. Yeah. I mean, are people going to be gone out of town because they're going to go visit their mothers? Are you oh yeah, lose yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, but, we don't want to do it on Mother's Day weekend. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, in fact, actually, we kind of tested it this Mother's Day, and it was really a slow weekend. Okay. Hmm. So. Interesting. Hmm. You kind of like hope for the opposite, though. Like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that that month you're just kind of running up against you're running up against everything third third and fourth you're running up against Cinco de Mayo, 
10th and 11th is Mother's Day, 17th and 18th is the yeah. break, and then Memorial Day on the 26th. That's just kind of a, just running up against a... And between baseball tournaments and softball tournaments and... yeah. Is there any, has there been any discussion about, I mean, I know you're, you want it to coincide with anniversary, but would it be better to maybe do it in June where the weather's a little bit nicer? It doesn't necessarily matter about the anniversary. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, in June, we could look at dates in June, but then we do the same thing. It's graduation month, essentially. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, could you coincide the, the uncorked with the first Friday though? Yeah. I mean, you could it could tie in nicely with first Friday. That's a good idea. The first weekend mm -hmm. in May. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know you ran up against Cinco de Mayo, but the first Friday is that first weekend in May, and that might hit yeah. bigger for businesses. I don't know. Yeah. It's a, I think uh, they do lots of fest seafood festivals. It's when all of the markets start coming out. It's for mm -hmm. so first event. It's easy to keep wine temperatures mm -hmm. good. Oh yeah. For so sure. that's something I that we have to, that. to consider with this one, just because people Absolutely. are coming with a lot of wine, and so we mm -hmm. have to accommodate for that. Don't worry. Yeah. Do you have um, an idea as to? when you want to have a set date i mean you know i'll talk with mel and lisa okay. and see uh, we've talked about this pretty in depth because we were trying to do it this year but it I was like by the time march got here i was like we there's no way we can get vendors prepared in this amount of time mm -hmm. not having anything planned so um I know that in the past when we were talking about last year i think somebody we approached somebody and um, at least September, we'd like to really have a solid, this okay. is what's happening mm -hmm. and oh, a plan okay. laid out. So, oh, that's perfect. And then is this, would this be an event like similar to what Portland runs as like the bite where you have other vendors or you shutting down the streets? Okay. Yep. Like okay. October fest. Okay. Yeah. But wine potential but for Broadway. Um, I think there's leftover glasses from the last oh, yeah. uncorked, some oh, bags yeah. even left over, yeah. possible t-shirts, yep. tokens. Yeah. Yep. Lots of tokens, lots mm -hmm. of glasses. Do we have an inventory of that stuff so she she knows what she has on we hand? We only have 500 glasses. Okay. And the tokens, probably a couple thousand. Mm -hmm. T-shirts, 20, 25. Okay, so you might, Wine need, bags. You might need new new more shirts and more bags mm -hmm. and have you seen that logo are you okay with whatever logo that they have on there um on the glass i think yeah okay. i think that'd be fine we might utilize parts of it for shirts and then change other parts of it for new shirts mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. awesome anything else I don't think so. Okay. Do you have a timeline for that? You said you wanted to. She said by, by September. 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 Mm -hmm. So do you want to revisit this um, in August or do you want it on next month as well? We can revisit in August. Okay. Yeah. Get through. I don't want you to feel in like July. being pressured. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. August would be good though. Okay. We have monthly meetings, so we'll meet and go over things thoroughly awesome. this month, I'm sure. Okay. And then um, by August, I'm, I guess we'll probably have a pretty good idea of what, what we want it to look like. Great. How far, how far ahead do we have to submit uh, street closure requests? I have no idea. I've heard something like six weeks. This was actually why we why we ran into the not doing it this year because we thought we had to have like eight months, and we were like, "There's no way," mm. but it's not it's not that long. Okay. Great. Well, we'll look forward to getting an update on that in August then. All right. Um, Oktoberfest. Uh, what's going on with that um, committee of? Julie and Lonzo, uh, we need to get together. I've got the form filled out for the city's permit. Um, 
I know we're restricted as to how many people can be on a committee, but I'd like to get a subcommittee. I'd like somebody to take on the food uh, vendors. Lonzo's doing the alcohol mm -hmm. and somebody to take on the uh, street vendors. And I'd be happy to be like a consultant, but um, in, I'm not going to be here next year. So somebody, some folks need to really step up and know how to put this together. Um, the, would it? Would you want it to be somebody from the committee, from no, this committee, or no. just from? A, yeah, we had talked. Community? Yeah, we had talked last year about getting, because um, we had some pretty um, in-depth comments about our food vendors, and so I think we need to have one of the food cart vendors, you know, maybe kind of head that up uh, to get food vendors. Would you? Uh, I know that uh, Yvonne and Gill. Uh, Gongoras, they they've really expressed uh, um, wanting to be involved. Oh, and who was that? The Boba Blasket, Boba Blasket, oh, okay. the, the twins of Vaughn and Gill. Okay. Um, I know they've really expressed a, a lot of okay. interest to be involved. Um, so that might be somebody to to talk to to see if, you know, I, I think it'd more be uh, Yvonne's, you know, more in his ballpark than okay. Gill, but um, I think that okay. they would be good, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we, we had some major miscommunication last year. And so we need to really make sure that this year the food vendors know um, what's required. So I think that Lynn Peterson would also like to be involved. She's Timbertown. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Grub. And who is that? Timbertown? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, she applied for a few of the yeah. committees. So, yeah. Yeah. Also, with that being said, maybe I've heard a couple different comments made about generator noise. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So maybe making some stip clearer stipulations yeah. around that. Yeah. Yep. Cause it, what, there was already, wasn't there already stipulations? Like you have to it, have it a- It had, wasn't yeah. even a thought, oh, really? but this thought generator was, was so loud and yeah. it was so close to the music and yeah. It, it, yeah. And we didn't get a lot of cooperation on was that dealing the... with that. A few of us finally put a table up in front of it to help muffle it. Mm -hmm. um, I was informed that it would be a fairly quiet one, and it, it was not. Was that the urban German? No, mm -mm. Timbertown. Oh. Yeah, urban German is fantastic. Yeah. And we'll be driving um, the banners again in the 4th of July parade. Cool. So... We still have oh, those from October last year. Bucks. So oh, cool. Lonzo probably won't be driving it. We're reaching out to somebody else in the family that'll be driving it, but the banners will be on again. So we cool. good. We'll be advertising it. Awesome. Good. So um going back to this generator noise. Is there like a certain le I guess decibel levels that we need to I I don't know enough about them. Is there a certain mm -hmm. generator size that they yeah. need and that mm -hmm. puts out so much noise and mm -hmm. we just need to stipulate in the permit that it needs to be muffled or something? I don't understand. I know what generators do, but I don't understand the restrictions on size and noise. I think there's generators called whisper or something mm -hmm. to that effect. And they're also expensive. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're expensive and yeah. But maybe, um, Connie, like last year we talked about, we put those people where they could get to a plug-in easily. I don't know. I don't know if a plug-in would be sufficient for them or not, but. Or maybe we move it away from the music. Put can, we, somewhere else. can we put them somewhere else? Mm -hmm. It's just loud. The yeah. only, on the other side, like over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe on, on third, go here. down that mm -hmm. way with the food vendors. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Which some of them Good, wouldn't yeah. even have to move then, you mm -hmm. know, like the ones that well, are already it in into Boba yeah. and stuff. That might be cool. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so they don't have to move and they don't feel left be, out. You and Lonzo and I need to yeah. reroute And then it actually it'd be kind yeah. of neat because it would force people to walk back and forth between. So any of the businesses that decide to stay open for it and all the vendors that sign up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know there was a concern about the way the um, uh, street vendors were faced and so uh, I'd like to get Julie um, Cooper involved in that mm -hmm. aspect yeah. of it. She helped a lot last year. Yep. So. 
So Julie, are you able to reach out to the individuals that Jerry had indicated for the boba blastings as far as possibly taking on that role as joining the subcommittee. Yeah. Street vendors subcommittee for the actual um, food, food, vendors. food vendors. vendors. Yeah. If somebody can get me a contact, that would be great. Otherwise I can stop by. I just don't know if they're there all the time or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get you, I'll give you the information. Okay. Thanks, Jerry. Mm -hmm. And then um, what would be your suggestion as far as generator noise? I mean, is there somebody within council or is there somebody within the city that we can talk to about? Aaron Neldner. Uh, he owns uh, Alternative Power Source and he's volunteered, probably got more volunteer hours than uh, in the city than everybody here but Connie. <laughs> yeah, okay. Aaron so, Elder. Just to clarify, when I reach out to our, uh, our BOBA people, do we want them to be the subcommittee well, see, of, for the vendors? For also, the food uh, vendors. Also, what, what's your name? The Timber Lynn Peterson. Lynn Peterson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From Timbertown. But we need to advise Lynn that there is going to be a restriction on the on the generator noise. And I've been told that there's devices you can put around them to muffle them. You know, I'm sure there's an expense, but it, it just... Well, the food carts that are over here, they're probably hooked to power, I imagine. So maybe if they get close enough to that power, there will be enough for her to just plug into something. Mm -hmm. I imagine with this much time to research that, it will not be an issue. Mm -hmm. And and yeah, I ran generators over... Mm -hmm. And it wasn't a. And and we need to get together fairly soon for a map where we want to put stuff. Mm -hmm. So definitely. Okay, I'll get with you, Alonzo. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll just I'll reach out to Aaron, okay. and then whatever information I find out, I'll just let you know. That would be great. Thank okay. You. Do you know him? Mm -mm. You can use our names mentioned he's Jerry super, Jim Fisher. Yeah, he's a super yep. nice guy. We've worked with him a lot. Big hearted guy. Nope. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else on Oktoberfest? I don't think so. I've got some leads on um oh, I gotta get the stage yeah. reserved. Um Stay yeah bands. Do last year we had a few committees. Yeah, we had a few. Right. Um because I was on kids activities. Yeah. You guys were on the so alcohol and yeah, we huh? we just yeah. What? I, I for some reason in my head, I think we gave the stage to the high school or. No, we had we had the stage for Oktoberfest. Yeah, he's thinking he got rid of it. Pardon? I think it's gone. I think I'm I'm not You're sure. Kidding. It's something in my brain. Think it, there's something that that clicked that. We either we really? gave the stage to the school. I don't. I'll, I don't know. I'm. I'll. I'll go ask. I'll talk to Sadie. Yeah. Holy moly! Well, I imagine they probably give it back. I, yeah, or let, or it let us use it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. And just a reminder, I will be here to help plan, mm -hmm. but then I am out of here yeah. by September 12th or 13th. Mm -hmm. So I yes. expect to see pictures and videos, <laughs> yeah. etc. But. Yeah, just to, so you know, I will plan away, but Wedding. I will not be here for the event. Awesome. So, do we want to maybe do committees in July? Talk about or just kind of review those. Definitely. Just I mean, July. we got three months, right? June, July, yeah. August. Um, let me get with Lonzo and Julie. We'll figure out what subcommittees we need or what else we need. Um, what else okay. we need? Uh, I'm sure we'll rope you in for doing the advertising mm -hmm. and the. Mm -hmm. And the oh, yeah. I got stuff. all the pictures. Get and... with uh, Sherry about the the people are already asking for the uh, application vendor cool. application. Uh, the I know price you increase. guys voted last <laughs> month like to it. raise the price. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yes. Um, yeah. So we just need to. There was a couple things to be changed on the application, if yeah. I remember yeah. correctly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, if both um, 
Homo Blastic and Timbertown are, are interested in being on the subcommittee that they can, okay. you know, as long as they can work together, they can both be on the subcommittee. Okay. So, okay. Um, mm. and I think that would be great. Oh, I think it'd be great if the more, the more the merrier as far yeah. as I'm concerned, we just have to get together and decide where we want food to go mm -hmm. and yeah. map will be the big thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another uh, big thing will be map? how we want the yeah. vendors to oh. face. Yeah. 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 So and then I would like to get somebody, if we can talk to Julie and see if maybe she'll take on the vendors. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'll am i consult. Are you going to reach out to Julie? Do you want me to reach out to Julie? Pardon? Do you want to reach out um, to Julie? If you feel comfortable. Oh, yeah. yeah if you could. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Remind yeah, me again when this is. Yeah. Hmm? Remind me again when this is. I want to see if she's going to do Remind me again what date this is. Uh, September 29th. It's the third, yeah. the third Thursday Saturday Saturday in, in September, September, whatever that is. So that's yeah. September 21st. 21st. Is that right? It's the, I think I'm pretty it's sure it's the third, okay. third Saturday. Yeah. The third Saturday in September is what we put like on the shirts and everything. So okay. we didn't have to yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> put the date on every single yeah. one. But yeah. I don't have my phone. We can reuse things. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think moving the food would be cool. I do too. But mm -hmm. you know what set up nice borders away from the music. I think is the point. Mm -hmm. And okay. then there's no beer garden, right? No, I We're think the whole thing is be, a beer garden. It, yeah, it's going to be free range drinking this year. Essentially, it's like <laughs> marked off though, <laughs> or no? I don't think. I don't know. I think it. I really like this for like our situation. Yeah, where mm -hmm. people had their kids and they wanted to have a glass of wine, but yeah. we were it, it was really gray. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so we told people no. Yeah, now we know that oh, last year. Yeah. Yes, okay. so now so people can kind of wander around with their beers and their wine and look at things and yeah, that's how it was before with the uncorked. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, the whole thing was, and um, obviously you yeah. kind of have to do it that way with uncorked because yeah. And the mm -hmm. stage is just for you. You'll be able to go up to the stage. And, well, and just... somebody was going to talk to somebody about trying to get polka dancers again. Yes, me. Okay. I've got a lead on two line dancers. So, so uh, there's or... also that um, Sarah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I've talked with her. Not the same evening. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, good. Yeah. Awesome. So fun. She, yeah. She's another one that just like really wants to get in no. wants yeah. to get She's out. trying to do the whole 4th of July. Yeah. yeah. Back, she did back. She's back, back robes, right? Dance. They were on the Starlight Parade. Yeah, they were. Yeah. I didn't know what that oh, was. Very cool. But... Yeah. And they were at a beer festival in Canby a couple weekends ago. And so, yeah, oh, she's, she's getting there. her name out there, which is really, it'd be great to support her too. Yeah. yeah. So cool. Love it. I've well, seen cool. her a lot at meetings lately. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, Heather needs going. to get going. I do need. All righty, Christmas tree lighting. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I have a contact for you on the chamber board that wants Don't to have a that. hallmark Not moment. <gasps> oh my gosh! And she is fabulous. Wait, what? Oh, yay! It's our dream. I mean, true. I know. I have a couple of people who may be on the sub, like a subcommittee of yeah. some sort for this yeah. too. And yeah. where are we at as far as using? Um, the biggest little tree capital of the Pacific Northwest. Are we just? We have, did we already adopt that? Maybe we do just change the name to something like that. I like it. I like that. Yeah. That way we don't. Can you put that in an email, Sherry, so we don't forget? <laughs> but I like that, and I think that if we start, um promoting that we're going to have some extravaganza i think that it'll pick up speed because i think people that aren't from the area will come out for that weekend if they know there's going to be something else going on the only thing i don't know is if we can use that lot and if the city mm -hmm. i don't know who to talk to on the city about changing the tree lighting from here to over there it used to be there it used to be there and i don't know if thriftway didn't want us to use it or i don't know because there's no tree but we no, could no get tree. a tree we the i can get a tree biggest. Biggest. yeah i was gonna say we could get a big tree and then tree. i personally have a couple tents that we could put around the outside of the the, the tree lighting we did if, that one year yeah because yeah, it was i just feel like if we move it over there it would be so much better if the problem with the problem with doing it over there is there's no there's no inside there's no that's that's where the, the tents would come around. Like you put the tents all the way around it. And the only reason I have even thought of 
that is in Ireland they do that. Yeah. They have a giant tree like in the middle of this courtyard in a castle and then they have their I don't remember what they call it but and they they have tents around the outside and they have the vendors in the tents and they have the like a little bonfire in the tents and they have so everybody stays warm and toasty and they stay dry and they um yeah I I just and then I think all the businesses would get more business that night of the tree lighting and during the day because they're not all here they're walking food trucks and mm -hmm. and I would like to close down part of the street too myself but mm -hmm. uh, at cart before the horse I yeah. I will I'm not going to be I have a wedding in September I have a Oregon reception here in October I'll be gone again in November so I have a lot of things going on so I'm not going to say yay I can do all of this and then yeah I can't commit to everything but I know I have a great great visionary crew that wants a hallmark moment too so yeah okay just excited that you know that you guys are taking this on and making it bigger than just the mayor standing up there and flipping a switch you know yeah we gotta make it i think we need to talk to the choir and the city the city choir because mm -hmm. yeah, rendell, rendell used to i mean they used to have the kids every year i know my our, our uh -huh. kids yep. our kids sang in it yeah um you know yes. every year to, for the christmas tree lighting there the rendell had um the choir out for it so and and that doesn't mean that we can't have like santa down here so people have to walk down here to see santa so totally. they're getting the whole walk mm. of the downtown area that's a good idea actually. um so that way santa's dry and warm kids can stay dry and warm it's just a matter of yeah who does the candy cane hunt thing that is what's his name? Parks. Parks, Parks and Rec. What? The, the, the candy, candy cane. cane. I thought that was cane. Jordan. Somebody yeah, did that, that last year. Well, I think there was two. Was yeah, there, there two? was two. He he did like the full on like you got to purchase. Oh, in the store one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Businesses. There's another one that the Parks and Rec did. I would love to run a scavenger hunt. Yeah. And just have things all over the downtown, like even like that weekend of the. So people that came out to get their Christmas trees could, you know, oh, we're looking for, you know. Maybe this is something arts could get involved with too. That would be amazing. Uh, I was uh, I was going to suggest that since you guys are going to be there on Wednesday, somebody's going to be there on Wednesday, that that is another thing to talk about. Mm -hmm. So I've recommended that they be involved, you know, that they be involved in the Christmas tree lighting because in the past um, they've always had their winter artisan show um right around the you know at at the same time i mean there were the, there were christmas tree lighting ceremonies where they had the winter artisan show in here going on mm -hmm. while the christmas tree lighting was happening so yeah so anything to me anything it would be amazing and so if i don't know sherry i know you're going do you want to mention that to him yeah i can mention that to him that would be great just i mean this is not my committee but you know i i'm very excited about this one because Octoberfest is kind of going already, so now it's time to. Well, we kind of, yeah, we and uh, add another that. one. Yeah. Alrighty. I, I love how the last the last two years the um, collaboration between between committees because before a committee was just a committee, nobody they didn't talk to any really talk to any other committees, but in the last couple of years it's really um, come around to where committees are getting involved with each other and not realize or realizing that. Mm -hmm. If they don't, there's a chance they're going to step on each other's toes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think I think that we have a lot of ideas for this, so I think we need to keep it on the agenda. Mm -hmm. And for sure, keep. I mean, maybe next month, make some lists, lists of real realistic mm -hmm. things we can do. I mean, because we're we're throwing out a lot. It's realistic. <laughs> so All right. Um, moving on. Public comment. Commissioner yeah. comments. Um, I want to talk about door hangers. Okay. Uh, we should get those by the end of this week. Nice. I've given you all uh, maps of the subdivisions. Um, okay. I'm going to do Cascadia Ridge, but then Faraday, Reagan Heights, and Campanella. Mm -hmm. If you can kind of head up taking one of those and either organizing kids or yourself to go for walks, mm -hmm. um, that would be great. Yeah, I could do Faraday. 
you'll take Faraday? Okay. And I'll get the number of um, door hangers to you. I think Lonzo was asking too. So I think he wants to, you know, if you take two of you, take us, you know, one area. Mm -hmm. um, and then those will be downtown too. You're going to get uh, when we get all this, all of them, Half we ordered 2,500. Mm -hmm. So when we get them all out to the houses, I didn't put um, the old. When will they be in? Should be in by the end of this week. Um, then we do put the extras around businesses right. downtown. Cool. Back on the Christmas tree stuff. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Who, how soon in advance do, does somebody need to talk to Thriftway about that lot? How far in advance what? Sooner Thriftway, than later. Thriftway that lot to see if we can move it there again. Not, I mean. Because that, I mean, yeah. that's kind of the hinge point the of. Space, yeah. With, uh, is it Jeff? Is Jeff the owner? Send a, you need to do a letter, address it to the owner of Thriftway Harvest Market, give it to Dan at the store, and um, then he'll get it to Jeff. Okay. Yeah, I would, I would think that Jeff starting Neal. starting that conversation oh, yeah. early is best. Yeah, you know, and just say the date, and what what you want. And, and then, at, should I wait till next meeting when we like approve a date and all of that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we know the date. Oh, this is for the Friday, right? uh, tree, lighting. tree lighting. Yeah. Um, I think we were trying to tie it into the first Friday kind of thing again. Yeah. I think it's usually always like that. First. Yeah. You should be okay if you wait. Yeah. Okay. All right. But make I it in a letter. I won't do anything. Give it to Dan. Um, until we officially first vote day. in a date and yeah. time and et cetera. Yeah. And, um, when I meet with you and Lonzo, I'll talk to him about door hangers because I know he said he wanted to, yeah. to do some. Can we maybe um, have Heather have some of the high school kids do yeah, that? I think I was going to talk to her after she okay. left. Awesome. Anything else? Uh, I don't think I tried so. to email Pamplin to get a little article in but haven't heard anything but I'll there's another person that's been trying to get a hold of them and it's just been yeah I don't think I, I mean I remember Bennett having a hard time too but the Estacada news has turned into Estacada Portland Sandy Gresham Corps but right it's just yeah unfortunate I have one thing for all of you starting the new fiscal year which is July 1st any purchases um, that need to be made for the committee have to go through the city now. So if you have something you need to purchase for an event, you'll send it to me and then I'll get it purchased through the city. So we don't have to do the yeah. reimbursement yep. Yep. form and all that. Nice. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Thank you. All right. Well, all right. Public comment. Um, well, real fast. Sorry. When's July? Okay, so when's July? So are we meeting July 1st? Is everybody going to be here? Because I know sometimes it gets a little hairy around that date. I won't be. Okay. I won't be here for the, the I don't know if I'll be back by the 4th even, mm -hmm. but. Okay. But I can do a Zoom meeting if that's what everybody decides to do. I just might be in the truck on the way home from Arizona. Yeah. So. Okay, so Monday, so we'll just keep it. All right. Sounds good. I think it'll work. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Can we share comments? Mm -hmm. Madam? Thank you, Hannah. Beautiful poster. Mm -hmm. Beautiful poster. Mm -hmm. uh, next meeting um, agenda items. Um, I think everything on here that we've already discussed can stay on, you're going to add in the vacant building, but then we're going to wait on getting an update on uncorked until the next, the following month. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yay. 10, 15, meeting adjourned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.